What made you want to sit down and talk about what happened? I feel like it's important for people to understand um, what happened in the room. There was just no sign or indication that anything like this would happen. No signs an attorney representing his son in a custody dispute would shoot and kill his ex-daughter-in-law and her husband inside of a Summerlin law office. Good evening, I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. For the first time tonight, we're hearing from a person inside that room during the shooting that left three people dead. One of those survivors is talking with 8 News Now investigator David Charns. And David, why was she there? Brian Denise, Lisa Rasmussen represents the children's paternal grandmother in this custody battle. And she was sitting at the table during her client's deposition when just minutes in, Joe Houston pulled out a gun and fired. It was unusual in the sense that there was no uh, pleasantry. That's how attorney Lisa Rasmussen remembers the morning of April 8th when she went to the Prince Law Group for a deposition in the custody battle between Dylan Houston and his ex-wife Ashley. Rasmussen was representing Dylan Houston's mother, Catherine Kelly Houston, and was sitting next to her at the table. Next to Rasmussen on the other side, Kelly's husband, Joe Houston, who was representing their son, Dylan. It was very tense. Um, I, I already knew it was going to be tense, but it was more tense than I would have anticipated. On the other side of the table, Dennis Prince representing his wife, Ashley, and another attorney in his firm next to her. Oh, Rasmussen says the deposition started and with little fanfare. Joe then said to Dennis, before we start, is there any hope that we can resolve any of the issues for the sake of the kids? And Dennis didn't respond at all. He didn't even acknowledge the question. There was just nothing. And instead, he turned to Kelly and started asking the deposition questions. A few and minutes later, it's not what Rasmussen one. remembers seeing, kind of it's what she heard. He'd asked, I don't know, maybe three questions. And then there was just this horrible noise. I turned and I saw on my right side a barrel, just a barrel, and a sleeve of like a dress sleeve. Then I saw him stand up and point very decidedly a gun across the table. And I, I, um, then it was clear to me what was happening and that that noise was a gunshot and that was a gun and that he was pointing a gun. Rasmussen and so then ran I out of the conference room with her client, finding a hiding spot in a nearby office and relaying what had happened to 911. For hours, they didn't know anyone had died in the shooting, nor that Joe Houston had shot himself. But there was this sign. I was painfully aware that there were like eight ambulances lined up on the street outside and none of them ever came in and none of them ever left. Do you think he came to that deposition with the intent to kill them? Well, that's the question, right? I, I don't know, but I, and I don't know that we'll ever know, but I do know some things wouldn't make sense if that was his plan. Rasmussen says that's because Joe Houston asked Dennis Prince to not bring Ashley Prince to the hearing. And when she and the Houstons arrived to the office together, they wanted to sit on the other side of the table. Dennis walked by and opened the door and said, oh, no, no, uh, I sit on that side. You need to move to the other side. He said, I don't want my back to the door. Well, Rasmussen doesn't know why Joe Houston did it. She does know the custody case that brought everybody together last Monday had boiled for years. She says the family court failed everybody, noting a child custody evaluation ordered two years ago is still not complete. There's an inefficiency in the family court that allowed this to linger for this period of time to fester. Rasmussen um, walked away with her life and now a week later is playing what happened over and over in her head. Though deep down she knows all she could do was run. I was in no position to stop him or say, um, Joe put the gun down or to tackle him or to knock the gun out of, I mean, I, I just, that to me was not an option, my, but my instinct was flight.
Now, no one but Dennis and Ashley Prince were shot that day, and that custody case is far from over, and Rashmussen continues to represent Kelly Houston in this ongoing case. While well, the two Houston children are with another family member, a judge will hear more arguments in this case in court tomorrow. I'm David Sharns, 8 News Now. David, thank you. Meantime, a funeral for Dennis Prince is underway right now. The Houston family had a service for Joe Houston. That was over the weekend. The state bar is asking that another attorney in the Prince Law Group be allowed to take over Dennis Prince's cases and the accounts with clients' money in them. The state Supreme Court has to sign off on that transfer since it includes access to Prince's client bank account, digital storage, and emails.